Okay, so here I am on my off the grid island. Just going for a swim. First thing we can do is change our lot to a tiny home and then we can put a flat square which costs zero money on our lot and now we have all the tiny home benefits without even having any walls. Excellent. Now we're going to go back to live mode. Now James is going to come bother me. Okay. Maybe we can do this now. All right. So we've got our little square that makes this a tiny home for us. And now we are going to do some fishing because we are in a good mood. And watch, we're going to get sad because we're a child of the ocean. See how fast our skill is going up. Oh, this guy's going to come talk to me now. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. So we're going to beach comb. Mmm, a beach comb over here. Oh, so yeah, beach combing is like really good. It is OP, as the kids like to say. So, this is your inventory down here, this little box. It's like your backpack. This is what your sim carries on them at all times. Now, if you pick one of these, you can drag it here to sell it, or alternatively, you can multi-select things to sell all of them. And when you have this on, you can even say select all, and it'll automatically select everything. So, this is your personal inventory. If you go into build mode, Oh, I need to give myself zero simoleons. I forgot to do that. This down here, this box is your household inventory. So like when you have a house, when you're doing like a rags to riches or a legacy or whatever, and um, all you can actually put all of your expensive items into your inventory so you don't have to repurchase them because they depreciate in value the moment you put them into your house and act and go into live mode. So instead of like paying $500 for a new refrigerator when you only sold your existing one for 420, um, you can just keep them in your inventory and then you can rebuild the structure of your house, but you have all your stuff still. So there's that. You may have already known that, but so this is your inventory, your little box down here. Give myself zero simoleons. And I'm going to keep this towel and I'm going to actually hold on to that for just a moment. I'll let her finish beach combing here. She didn't find anything. She did get scared though. Oh no. Oh, I found an abalone shell. Okay. Now, I think the reason that you couldn't cook any food is because you didn't have enough money to cook food. So if you go to the beach in like the town area, there's a grill there. I can't remember if there's a grill at the other one, but you have to have at least $13 to be able to grill food. And for grilling fish, I think you have to be cooking level two maybe. So like right now I have $0, so I can't cook anything because 
I don't have enough dollars. So obviously if I go to my inventory and sell my beautiful items here, I have $740. So now I can cook food if I want to. Now I have the option. So there's that. Um, I might have more recipes than you do. I was going to disable uh, my different game packs, but I think when I did that before, that's part of why my game kept crashing. So, um, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and let her use the bathroom while we're here. All right, and then we're going to travel back to our little island. And now that we have money here from our beach combing we are going to purchase a tent now i have outdoor retreat so i have these two other tents but this is the tent that comes with snowy escape and you have snowy escape so you should be able to access this tent and so what this is going to do is it's going to allow your sim to like do things so they can sleep they can take a nap they can read the wilderness digest to get their fun up um that kind of stuff i uh, would highly highly recommend oh <laughs> made friends with the crab i would highly recommend <laughs> getting your fishing skill up as quickly as possible um so the rules said that you can make money from odd jobs, fishing, and beach combing. Um, but any other collectibles that you gather um, have to be sold on the, on the um, selling table from City Living. So what they mean by that is, is that trash? Yes. Is, um, so collectibles. So they're talking about like when you dig up these piles and you find like fossils or um, what else do you sometimes find? Fossils, uh, certain types of rocks, like that kind of stuff. Those things you can only sell with the selling table from City Living. Um, but we don't need to worry about that so far because with beach combing and fishing, like look, I've, I caught a camera worth $85. Um, so you should be able to get enough money that you can, um, at the very least travel to community lots and, um, cook there. So I need to change her traits. This fish friend thing is ridiculous. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, 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 the buoys. So there are these buoys out here. And once your um, fitness level is up high enough, you can free dive for treasure. And so she'll come up with like, uh, you know, different kinds of shells um, and different, uh, the different Sulani collectibles, like the fingers of Sulani, the light of Sulani or something like that. Um, I can't, can't remember what all there are. But then also let's not forget there are harvestables in Island Living too. So like, here's a pineapple, um, over by the beach that we were just at, you can um, find coconut trees over there. And then that kind of stuff too, you can plant and make money from that when you sell your harvestables. So those are all really kind of quick, easy things 
to um, get you some money first. Oh, reeled in a butterfly fish, an endangered protected species of fish. Keeping this fish is illegal. I'm going to release the fish since it makes me so sad to catch fish anyway because I am a child of the ocean. Um, so yeah, so that's that. That's what's up. So inventory is here. Um, and some things you can take in and out of your inventory. So my little beach towel that I found here from uh, beach combing, I can put that in my inventory and my tent actually can go in my inventory as well. So if I would like to take it with me and then sleep somewhere else, I can do that. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else I was going to show you. And I don't think there was, so I'm not even sure why my other video was like 30 minutes long because this obviously hasn't taken very long at all. But yeah, so the buoys are out there. Oh, and you can actually see the, oh, oh, I remember. I remember what the other thing was. So let's go to manage worlds real quick. Please don't crash. So the buoys. Okay, so here's, you know, my island. So there's buoys here, out here. Um, the ones over here, I think, are all going to be deep sea buoys. And so those are the ones where you can free dive for treasure. Um, this over here, this buoy over here in the more like town lagoon area, um, this is just a snorkeling one and that gets your sims fun up, it's something they enjoy doing. Um, and then if they have, if they, if they get an underwater camera at some point, um, they can also take photos while snorkeling. But you can also snorkel at the deep sea buoys too. But um, this one in the shallow, they can only snorkel at. They can't free dive at. So there's that. Oh, and then the other thing that I was going to say is that so you can kind of cheat a little bit. It's not really cheating. So, like, obviously in Sulani, you've got your the bar, you've got the two beaches, and then all the rest of these things are houses, right? Well, in the challenge, you're not supposed to leave Sulani. So you have to like stay in Sulani. You can't travel to other worlds. So um, as far as earning skills and that kind of stuff, um, you, you can't like travel to a library or anything. But what you can do is you can take one of these lots that you don't need to necessarily be residential lots and you can stick community lots there. So like Tangled Flat, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go straight into build mode from Manage Worlds. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get on the gallery and I'm going to say lots, and then it's going to tell me what size the lot I'm building on is. So this is a 2020 20, 20 by 20 lot. And then I want to add a library here. So I'm going to choose library in my lot type. Then I'm going to wait 400 hours for it to load. But look, there's an option right here. There's a Sulani library. Uh, that was somebody built just a couple days ago. Um, and it looks like this only uses base game and island living. I like that one. I'm going to see what other ones there are. Okay, so here's another one. If the gallery would load. And this uses uh, base game, island living, and cats and dogs. So, um, of course, we can't see the inside because there's a palm tree in the way. But this one looks pretty cute too. I'm gonna like that one real quick. And then let's see if there are any other ones. Oh, 
those are looking like the two best options, to be perfectly honest with you. We can also search by hashtag and say island living. And so sometimes this will also pull up builds that people used island living items in. But as you can see here, we've got, you know, a bunch of little library locations too. So this one uses, this one has get to work. Um, but that one's pretty cute. And then this one also has get to work. It looks like that may actually be the same build. Um, Here's another one. This one just uses base game and island living. So that's good. Very cute. I like this one too. And you own all these packs, so that one's also doable. Um, oh. Island Book Exchange. That's so cute. Oh, oh. All right, I literally could spend hours perusing the gallery for a library because I am a crazy person. So um, I'm going to, I think, choose this one um yes and i'm going to say place this lot and i'm going to say update the venue type and i'm going to say yes i know that this is going to delete the current lot and that's okay with me yeah there we have it little library it's got a little kids jungle gym we've got the telescope and the inside is quite cute it's got some computers here even a little kitchen oh my goodness and a little place to play chess and these are the only uh, books they have but you know what that's okay and a little kids area very cute very cute indeed so um yeah so this way your sim can i do not like that rock interior i'm going to be changing that immediately the half walls can say that color if they want to um and what else was I going to say? Oh, look, there's even a grill here. Look at that person being so smart. Um, so you can come to the library, you can use the computer, you can learn skills from reading books. Um, so like a library is a great place to have. You can also use this to meet people, obviously. So keep that social up. Um, that underwater camera that I was talking about earlier, you can buy those from these little kiosks here that are around the, uh, that are randomly around the area. Um, so that's what's up with that. And then we can add some nice little uh, lot traits. So like fast internet, um, perhaps a good study spot, that kind of stuff. So yeah. So that's, that's the other, you know, kind of nice little tip and trick is add some community lots where you want to. Um, my favorite thing in Sulani is to take this Admiral's Wreckage site and either place a nightclub or a bar here um, that I've found on the gallery. And there even are some gallery ones, which I think I have uh, at least one save to my library here um oh maybe not 
but uh, there's one that they've taken the same like exterior that's like the wrecked ship, but it's a nightclub. And um, so that one's pretty cool. But yeah, so make your lot a tiny home lot by adding that flat square that doesn't cost you any money. Um, and then you build your skills up faster. Add um, com community lots to bump your skills. So like library is one of the best ones. And then if you are going to a community space to cook food, make sure you have at least $13 in your inventory. And uh, beach combing is your best friend because you will find all kinds of stuff doing that. And there you have it. That's it.